ओम शांति द ब्राह्मण लाइफ और इन द स्पिरिचुअल यूनिवर्सिटी व्हेन वी आर स्टडिंग आवर एम इज टू बिकम वर्ल्ड एम्पर And in order to become world emperor, Baba says, you have to be emperor now. Because this inheritance is not only of Satyug and Treta, but we are getting inheritance of 21 births, which includes the Sangam Yuk. So we had to see that we are emperors here. And in Sangam Yug, we become emperors, carefree emperors. We become rulers of the self. and we become emperor without crowns. We don't have physical crown. We are planning to have double crown in Satyug, the crown of light and the crown of power, the kingdom status. So we have to see that we have the qualities of emperor right now. And the qualities of emperor are first and foremost royalty. So as much as we see that our all activities are royal. We had to see that we don't behave like ordinary human being. Our behavior should be, you know, the way we speak, the way we walk, the way we talk, the way we move around. It should be royal. And the emperors are always, because they are rich, they are bestowers. All the time giving to their subjects. So we had to be so much full with all the treasures from Baba, as much as we are full of treasures from Baba, we would be able to share with others. And Baba is giving us so many treasures. Which are the treasures we have now in Sangam Yuga? which are the treasures that we have in Sangam Yuk. Knowledge, thoughts, time, what else? Powers and virtues. So if we have all these treasures, not only we will feel ourselves wealthy or we will have no desires to get anything more, which means we will be content. Because if there are desires, we can't be content. So once I have achieved whatever I wanted to achieve from Baba, Naturally, I won't have any desires. 
and whatever I have received from Baba, I'll be able to share with others. So materially we might be ordinary or, or even on a poor side. But because we have spiritual wealth, that intoxication and royalty will be there, that I got whatever I need, I'll be able to share with others. Who is worried? Hmm? Who will be worried? Hmm? Who will be worried? Because those who are not full, they will be worried. Because if we have not knowledge full, we haven't imbibed knowledge in our practical life, then naturally we will be worried. Because Baba has given us knowledge. Ba we have knowledge of karma, drama, etc. So if hmm, I am knowledgeful, that is, I am stable on drama, that whatever happened in the past was good and whatever is going to happen in the future will be better. Will I be worried about anything? If I have full faith in drama, will I be worried? Then I won't be worried. That is, whatever is going to happen will be better. Why should I worry? If I know about karma also, because if I have this faith that hmm, my karma will bring me the fruit of my action, whether it's present or past action, I, I will be reaping my karma. Then also I'm not worried, because even obstacles come, problems come, situation come. I, I know it's my karma I have to clear, then I won't be worried. So situations will come, no doubt, in my life. Because all sorts of problems are going to come, not only to individual, but the whole world will have to face the problem. Some people have health problems, some people have wealth problems, some people have relationship problem. And Naturally, as much as we are attached to our body, friends, relatives, position, possessions, we'll be worried, isn't it? Whoever has got that possession, they are worried. That hope everything remains safe and sound and everything goes smoothly and all. So they are worried whether some problems will come, some obstacles will come, somebody will hmm, defame me, somebody may hmm, do something wrong to me, my health or wealth or possessions. People are worried about all these things. But if I have knowledge that whatever situation will come, with help of Baba, I'll be able to overcome. So faith in Baba, faith in drama, will help me to be carefree. And we have the example 
of Brahma Baba. Now, Brahma Baba, he had so much responsibility. Because you may have responsibility of one job, one family. Hmm? Brahma Baba had responsibility of In Yajna, there were 300 people. And you know that at one time the situation was such that there was no money, beggary part. Not enough food. Was he worried any day? Not a single day he was worried because he had full faith. They are Baba's children. Baba will look after them. Even the morning, when there was no money, no atta, the cook came and told Baba, or treasurer came and told Baba, Baba, no money, no atta. How we are going to feed lunch today? Baba said, Baba remained stable and unshakable. He didn't panic or worry or something and what will happen. He said, okay, wait until 10 o'clock when post arrives and in the post there was money, they could feed 300 children. So that was the situation because hmm, even in two hours, in few hours, he had to feed 300 people, he wasn't worried. And we worry because I and mine, isn't it? When there is ego, I and mine, then there is worry. If I transfer I into Baba, it's Baba's. Baba's Bhandara, Baba's Yagya, Baba's children, Baba's service. Then will I worry? Then I won't worry. So we have to follow the Father, Brahma Baba's example. Not only Brahma Baba, but see, even Dadis. Now, dadis have so much responsibility, how much responsibility? Now the yajna has expanded much more. At that time, there were only 300 children. Now, <coughs> how many children? Even in Madhuban, around Mount Tabu, there are around 1,000. No, you count Global Hospital, Peace Park, all this, where there are surrendered Brahmins. And in Yajna, the food is cooked for all of them, every morning, every evening, three meals a day, for all surrendered Brahman. So many children, and so many BKs, 600,000, 6,000 centers now. Do you ever see dadis worried? Hmm? Dadis are so light, especially dadi prakashmani. Now those who are worried, they can't sleep properly, isn't it? They go to bed and they will be tossing around here and there and thinking about what will happen, what will happen, what will happen. Whereas Dadi Ji, she lies in bed in two minutes, she is gone. So this is the sign of carefree, that they are light, easy and the yoga will be good. Because those who are worried, they're heavy. Now from their face we can make out that they're so much worried. 
the face is heavy, they can't have good yoga, because they are worried, they carry that burden on their head. Hmm? Baba says, <clears throat> I am prepared to take your burden of responsibility. Hmm? Why you want to carry this burden of responsibility? So rather than having this awareness that I am instrument, it's Baba's service. Karavanhar is Baba, I am just instrument. We become Karanhar. No, yeah, rather than instrument consciousness, we think, I am doing it, it's my service, it's my responsibility, I, my. So whether it is uh, subtle or gross, because sometimes on a gross level we say, everything is Baba's, nothing is mine. But on a subtle level, that feeling is, I had to do all these things. Hmm? And, <clears throat> and sometimes that body consciousness also comes, of lack of self-esteem, lack of confidence, and that old sanskar of comparing, that competing, comparing, that I must do better than somebody else, somebody has challenged me, but I had to show that. So those body-conscious sanskars, make us heavy and worried. And that's where Baba is emphasizing, be soul conscious, be instrument. So I had to really subtly check myself, pay attention and have awareness, it's Baba's task, Baba is Karavanhar, Baba's responsibility. So as much as there is that awareness of being a child, instrument, just Karanhar, then we, I will be light and not worried. So as much as I am following Baba's direction and doing the right thing, no, if I'm doing right thing, I won't have fear or worry, because fear and worry go hand in hand. Either I'm afraid or I'm worried. And main reason is no, worried about people's opinion, what people will think about me, or what Brahmins will think about me. That body consciousness will create me that worry, what people will think. So it is both, no, it may be either lack of self-esteem, or wanting name, fame, position, possessions, etc. So as much as I'm attached to those things, I'm worried about losing them. That if I lose them, if people criticize me, if my position is taken away because uh, thus I'm more competitive, I'm not competent enough, or there is fear or worry about rejection, that if I give my opinion and people don't accept my opinion, what, what, what about it? 
So that's where I had to see I am detached from everything, detached from my body, bodily relations, old world, possessions of the old world. So as much as I am detached, I'll be carefree. If there is attachment, I have time to hold them, and then naturally there will be fear or worry about losing them. So as an emperor, carefree emperor, I should be tension-free, but in order to be tension-free, I had to pay a little bit attention on my consciousness, awareness. As an emperor, I had to rule my own mind and sense organs, because waste thoughts, no? if we are worried, we have a lot of waste thoughts and we are not able to give full stop to waste thoughts. So what I had to see is, as soon as waste thought comes, I had to start in a positive thought. Rather than what will happen, I had to see that, I had to say, it will happen. I'll be successful. Victory is my birthright. Then I won't be worried whether it will be failure or I won't be successful. So that faith in my victory will help me. Also, Baba has been emphasizing on keeping Baba as our combined form. If Baba is with me all the time, Almighty Authority is with me, then everything will be okay. I become Master Almighty Authority. Then there will be success. Problems, obstacles will come in all our lives. Nobody is free from that. But there is no question of worry. Because you not know, sometimes people are worried about sickness or health or death or something. Especially when there was tsunami, everybody was predicting, oh, there will be another wave of tidal wave. So naturally, predictions everywhere were there, even in Hong Kong and everywhere. There is going, bound to be another tsunami wave. Naturally, uh, people were either afraid or worried what will happen. And those who are near the beach, they were worried that now if it will happen again then, So rather than worrying, what we need to do is keep ourselves under Baba's canopy. Baba has promised that my children will be safe wherever they are. And in, in this last tsunami incident, not a single Brahman was killed in all this region, out of 300,000 people who died. 
many bee caves were in those areas, especially in Sri Lanka, in those cities, same city, many. Bee caves were there, but not a single Brahman died. So that is the proof that Baba protects us. And that's why, as much as I have faith that I am Baba's child, keep myself under Baba's canopy or, or remember Baba and just leave it to Baba, then everything will be okay. But that's where, no, my connection with Baba should be such deep that at the time of disaster, I'm remembering Baba. In the time of difficulty, problem, I remember Baba and I leave it to Baba rather than thinking, what should I do, how should I do, where should I go, who should I take help, because that was our old son's cast to run here and there to this person and that person to receive that help. Now I have to see that I am leaving it to Baba. And as much as I leave it to Baba, Baba will help. But if I take responsibility on my head, then Baba said, OK, go ahead, do, do for yourself. So that's where I had to see my faith in Baba, being Baba's child. If I have this awareness, I am Baba's child and it is Baba's responsibility to help me, then I'll be able to remain light and not worried. Now, what I need to remind myself that I am emperor here. And as an emperor, Baba has given us the crown here. The crown here that we have to wear is the crown of purity. So I should see that I am wearing the crown of purity. My purity is, should be 100 percent in my thoughts, in my dreams, everywhere, I should have that complete purity. Tilak Baba has given us of soul consciousness. And that also I need to wear all the time. That I am soul conscious all the time and not reverting to my old body conscious sanskars. Because as much as I become body conscious, I and mine will come. And so I had to be so much soul conscious that there's Baba, Baba and nothing else. And third thing, as a sovereign, Baba has given us throne. So I should be sitting on both the thrones, the immortal throne and Baba's heart throne. Then I'll get the throne in the future. So my love for Baba should be such deep. Sitting on Baba's heart throne, it means, because as much as I love Baba, I'll be sitting on Baba's heart throne. Because love will receive love. My love will receive Baba's love. 
Babas, love is unconditional for all of us, whoever we are, whatever we are. So Baba's love is there definitely, but my love can be divided. And that's what I have to see, that my love is not divided amongst many people and many things. We are so much used to love many people and many things. Then naturally my love will be divided amongst all those people and things. And then my love for Baba will not be so deep. So deeper my love for Baba, I'll be sitting in his, on his hard throne, I will not come down. Because many times Baba says, okay, children like to play in the mud. They come down from the throne, hard throne of Baba, and play in the mud, the mud of body consciousness. And that's what I had to see, that I sit on that immortal throne, on Baba's heart throne, and not come down. On a mundane level, and play with material objects, and material things, and body consciousness, and all. So my title, of being emperor here, I should have that awareness all the time. Not only that I'm going to become future emperor. Future emperor, yes, definitely, but we had to be here carefree emperor. And so, as much as I remember of my being emperor, what will happen is, I will have that royalty. I'll be ruling my sense organs first. None of my sense organs should deceive me. And the worst are eyes and taste buds. Eyes can deceive us, we get tempted, we see something, we are tempted. Whether it's impure drishti comes or greed comes. And so I had to see that my eyes are seeing only Baba. I don't see anyone or anything else. Otherwise, human beings, <coughs> we are, as a human being, we were used to <coughs> see everyone and everything. Not only see, but then we start thinking and judging and criticizing and all. On one hand, we are afraid and worried about the criticism of others, but on the other hand, we criticize others, isn't it? Whether at a thought level or in a word level or whichever. So my eyes <coughs> should not be seeing evil, should not have impure vision, should not be tempted by material objects or nice food. And my <clears throat> ears should not listen gossip. Otherwise, before Gyan, we were interested about anyone and everyone in the world. If we just see some people are talking about somebody, we will just listen, oh, what they are talking. And we, will, we were interested in knowing 
what's happening around with different people. And that's where Baba says, here no evil, see no evil, think no evil. And that is the most difficult thing, thoughts, the impurity of the thoughts, to control them. No waste thought, no ordinary thoughts, no negative thoughts, no impure thoughts. And so, if I keep my mind busy churning gyan, if my mind is busy, then there are no chance for it to have waste thought, negative thoughts, impure thoughts, or thoughts of worry about the future. I need to learn to live in the present, otherwise I'm worried about future, I'm thinking about the past, because so far we have given full freedom to our mind. Before Gyan we gave full freedom to mind, think anything. Now, we had to guide it in a right direction. So as much as I pay attention to my thoughts, words, actions, but mainly thoughts, because if I have waste thought, I can't be powerful. I cannot accumulate the treasures, because I'm wasting my time. So that's where I have to see, I don't waste my time, energy, otherwise I can't be powerful. The emperors have to be powerful. So, <clears throat> so my meditation will be deeper, when I don't have negative thoughts, waste thoughts, or even Baba says nowadays, don't even allow ordinary thoughts, leave aside waste thought or impure thoughts, but even ordinary thoughts, what I'm going to do and where I'm going to go and where I'm going to, who I'm going to interact and what I'm going to wear and what I'm going to eat, all these ordinary thoughts. So as much as I'm paying attention to my thoughts, words, action, drishti, awareness, then naturally attention will help me to stop wastage and negative. So not to worry about my future, not to worry about others' reaction. Because sometimes we are holding on to past. That in past somebody hasn't been not good to us. And so we are worried about their reaction in the future. And that's where nowadays Baba is emphasizing my reaction to somebody's action or reaction should be such that I'm not at all shaken. So if somebody criticizes me, what is my reaction? If somebody defames me, what is my reaction? If even at a mental level I get upset or depressed, it, it means I don't have that much inner strength. 
to remain stable and unshakable. Because that's what now Baba wants me not only to have not negative thoughts, but on the contrary to have good wishes and pure feelings towards them. So I should not have fear or worry about their reaction. But at the same time, even if they are doing something wrong, I have to see that I maintain good wishes and pure feelings. So as much as I collected treasures from Baba, I'll go even beyond good wishes, but I would be giving them blessings. Blessings is with power. The they people have, don't have to work hard. Good wishes is just wishes. Anybody can share good wishes, isn't it? But blessing not everybody can give. It needs a lot of inner strength to give the blessing. Or it needs so many treasures within me to be giving blessings. And that's where nowadays Baba is emphasizing to keep on giving blessings. And even if somebody is cursing me, I don't accept that curse. I'm not affected by their curse. Now my yoga power and protection is so deep that nothing affects me. So I'm knowledgeful but at the same time powerful, so that I am not influenced by them, I am not reacting to their negativity. My positivity remains all the time. So in Madhuban, whilst we are here, this is the time not only to overcome our weaknesses, but it is a time to store so much treasures and powers that we maintain that royalty, purity and lightness as a carefree emperor. And that's what is expected from this land of magic, that we are totally transformed before we reach our service place. So that's what, hmm? whilst we are here, let us store that much power. Hmm? So let us sit in meditation and absorb power from Baba that we remain always carefree and emperor, both. Not only just carefree, but emperor, ruling ourselves. Om Shanti.